Okay, everybody. Um, I'm really being pushed right now. You can see I'm working. I'm just being pushed right now. I got to stop and do this. Here, here's what I want to tell you. Um, you know, I, I saw a video. Um, I think it was... It was the video of the girl... It was the video of that girl that um, that had the German blood sacrifice curse on her. That she said she went to the Christian church and they didn't help her. Um, and something that that was that has been haunting me. Bob Larson said to her, "Well, you were a Christian. You knew Jesus Christ. You knew about Jesus Christ. How did you ever get in such a situation like this?" And um, this is what this is what I'm being pushed to talk about here, because I, I think this would be helpful for pastors out here to understand this, and for um, demon slayers to understand this, and for Christians to have some compassion for people out here who have found themselves in this predicament, like I found myself. Um, number one, most people uh, don't have an intact family support system. That's the biggest problem. That's the biggest problem. There's no intact family support system. A lot of these people have been abused. So there's very, very low self-esteem. There's magical thinking. Um, wanting to belong. Wanting to belong. And you have to understand that these cults have uh, good mouthpieces. They have good mouthpieces out here talking to the public. Um, I, I can tell you that, for me anyways, as I, as I said several times, then here's what you really need to understand. The people that at least I was exposed to, and not only who I was exposed to in Hinduism, but also that tarot demon, she has said it over and over out here. And you've seen her say it the other day that um, Kundalini is just energy. It's not a demon. They will never speak about demons. None of them. None of them will speak about demons. And as a matter of fact, I can remember thinking when I first started following Nithya Ananda that I was more relaxed following him because the mystics talked about demons a lot. Because they were witches. They were into all these spells and stuff. I was never into any of that. And um, I was truly wanting to be in oneness with God. And actually when Nityananda was uh, putting us through initiations, he was literally saying that it was God that was manifesting through this form. Never talked about demons. So this is, this is the hook. This is how Christians get hook, hooked. And I, I really hope that everybody out here can fully understand this. They never talk about demons. I, I can also remember a few people asking Nithya Nanda and even asking the tarot demon why Kali has such a mean face or why were they blue? Um, even uh, Kala Bedeva, why does he have such a mean face? And all we were ever told, like for Kali, it was Kali is um, trying to break away your ego, um, trying to... Uh, um, break you out of the lies, break you out of the uh, delusion. This is what they were talking about. In other words, they were trying to wake us up. It's not that they were demons. They were trying to wake us up. This is how Christians get caught in these uh, false religions. And I really want you to understand from an insider's perspective and hopefully to, to help you have some compassion for people out here. Um, you know, there are some people who are so lost, maybe they're so angry that they want to get into witchcraft or want to learn these powers so that they can hurt other people, so that they can feel powerful. But there's, there's many people out here like I was who only wanted oneness with God. And, and the big lie was, it was all God. It was all God. As a matter of fact, when I started following Nithya Ananda, he said there was something like over 300,000 Hindu gods and they all represented an aspect of 
the psychological mind. That's what he said. So for me, as I, as I heard many other people saying that Hinduism was mythology. And so all those 30, 300,000 gods represented an aspect of the psychological mind. It still left me in my fantasy thinking to believe that we're still dealing with the one God, the God that created everything. And I can tell you when Nithyananda came out and said he was an alien, I made a video at him. I blew up at him. I was yelling at him. I don't want to be no bride to no alien. I wanted to be in oneness with the God, the creator of the whole everything. That's what I wanted. I don't want to be no bride to no alien. And I was furious with him. He lied to everybody. So you have to also understand there is a natural hatred for Christians and there is a natural hatred for the West. Uh, they get uh, great delight when they suck Christians from the West in, especially when they get their whole entire family fortune. They just absolutely love that. So as far as the people being sucked in, there's, um, they're, they're, come from a, they're coming from a place of lack, of course. They're looking for family. They're looking for love. They're looking for God. And uh, these people have the gift of gab. That's all I can say. They know exactly what to say. The other thing I want you to understand is that Christians and people from the West do not fully understand the extent of the powers that these people have. They are extremely powerful. The same way that you hear Bob Larson talk about how powerful demons are. They're not more powerful than God. They're not more powerful than the angels, but they are extremely powerful. When you understand that you're not dealing with a person that you're looking at, you're looking at with a being, a spiritual being in human form, you will understand that these people who have practiced these, uh, these powers, the occult, and well, Nithyananda has absolutely allowed the demons to fully take him over. He is extremely powerful. His powers are extremely powerful. Now, he does, of course, the remote vision, um, telepathy, because he connects to these beings that are here. And I want you to understand, most of the teaching out here that I've seen by the demon slayers are saying that um, these demons come from a family curse and... And I agree with that. I've broken all of these curses multiple times already just to be on the safe side. But I can tell you with 100% certainty, this being that's here that took over my form was sent by Nithyananda. This is how powerful he is. And this is what I've had to fight off for the past two and a half years. So I have learned to go deep into the Holy Spirit and I have learned to call on the angels and yeah I, I can tell you uh, these people out here used to laugh at me because they believed all the demons out here the smear campaign saying that I was crazy but um, I am able to interact with the spirit world and that is really all I can tell you there is no more fantasy world going on here so I am I am truly able to interact with the fantasy world um, right now I feel this this being that's inside of me. But there are also two beings down by my feet, on my ankles. There, there used to be one being, or it could have been two other beings. One used to, it's all on the right side of my body too. Used to give me a calf massage on my leg, a calf massage. And the other one would do a foot massage on the right leg. Now, these beings are holding each ankle. Like, I'm being chained. Like, I can't go anywhere. Uh, they're sadly mistaken. They're really sadly mistaken. But this is what I'm experiencing now. Not only is this being in my form, and it's attacking me, it's both hurting me. Here, let me tell you what, what it did yesterday. When it was hurting me, it was hurting me in the genital area. It goes right for the genital area. When it started hurting me was when I finally uploaded God's promises. It hurt me for hours yesterday, for hours. Then when I exploded at the Nithyananda goons and said those horrible things to them, 
this thing started sexually attacking me to make it feel good. It liked that I exploded that way. So this is what I'm saying. The manipulation, this is a, this is a live being here. The people don't really understand this, that, that can't interact with the spirit world. These are live beings here. This thing interacts in real time. In real time. That's what I'm telling you guys. So, those that have been on my page this whole time understand that uh, I'm a straight shooter and I don't pull any punches and I say exactly what's on my mind. And uh, people will either like me for being straightforward and honest or they will not like me because I am too straightforward and honest for them. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm going to say right now is I have been uh, given instructions on what I need to do out here. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, having dealt with all these spirits and this stalking by this cult that I, I thought I was getting into a, a, a spiritual place where I could finally fit in and everyone was wanting to be one with God and finally I was going to have a family. Uh, this is the type of person that gets sucked into these cults, okay? So the more I started waking up, and not living in a fantasy world and not believing the lies that the leader was saying anymore, the more they all started attacking me. This is what happens. So I want you to understand where I'm coming from, that I will not pull any punches because I feel this is, this is your life at stake here. I have been tortured by these demons here and nobody out there would help me. Um, as of right now, they're plotting and planning how to stop me from speaking to Bob Larson on the computer to, to get an exorcism on the computer. As a matter of fact, Isaiah was going to do one the other night and I was online. I was, I was waiting for him to come on because I was going to try to go to the Zoom. And then voila, Isaiah's system didn't work anymore. I firmly believe it was Nithya Nanda's goons who attacked him so that I couldn't go. This is what they're doing. They don't want these demons out of me. This is what they're doing. So for me, this is your life at stake here, and I will not pull any punches. And if it's that tarot demon that's out here spreading lies to, to bring you in, to have you have to go through this, um, I'm going to call her out in a heartbeat. I, I always have, and I always will. You know, I watched a video by John Ramirez. If you don't know who he is, he's an ex-Satanist who has now given his entire life over to Jesus Christ. And he is out there yelling from the rooftops about what these demons do, how they're astral projecting into your, into your house, moving your stuff around, trying to make you think you're crazy. Um, these people have serious powers. And if you don't know how to protect yourself, you're, you're caught off guard and you have no choice. You're, you're either going to fall apart, kill yourself, or you're just going to give in to their demands. You've got to know how to protect yourself and you've got to know what to do. And um, I agree 100% with John Ramirez. We are in spiritual warfare. I'm not out here to be uh, politically correct or even socially correct. I don't care about any of it. The only thing I care about is saving people's lives. Because this is not only about your spiritual life. Uh, this is about the quality of life that you will have now if you are infested with these demons. And having people calling you crazy when they are the ones responsible for bringing these demons into you. And no, I'm very sorry. It's not all about generational curses. This is, this is the uh, lack of understanding of people who have never studied the occult. It's a lack of understanding on their part. It's not people out here putting the blame on somebody else because they don't want to take responsibility for what they've done. Yes, in ignorance, they trusted these people, but these people, in fact, who are calling themselves gurus, they know exactly what they're doing and they know exactly how they're lying to people out here. Innocent people who don't know any better. They are, in fact, calling these demons into these people. They are giving people kriyas and pranayamas to do, which are calling these demons in. So no, people are not out here making excuses. This is a real thing that people who have not been on the inside of the occult, they don't understand. So 
That's an aspect. <clears throat> that's an aspect. Generational curses and all the other curses that we all should be breaking. But if you have been involved in the occult, no matter what your reason for being there was, I, I could I could be standing right next to somebody who who went into the occult because they wanted power and they wanted to learn all of these powers so that they can hurt people out here. And here I am wanting to be in oneness with God, but I still got cursed with the same demons. It doesn't matter why you got pulled in. The only thing, the only reason why this video is important is for people who have not been in the occult. I don't know anything about witchcraft, so I don't know how people get started in witchcraft. I would assume it's probably for the same reasons. They're looking to belong. Some are looking for powers. Some are looking to get back at people. Um, that was never my thing. And uh, trust me, I had plenty of issues that I had to work through. I had plenty of issues I had to work through. But having powers to hurt people was never one of them. I was constantly looking to get in oneness with God. And I still wound up in this place. Still knowing Jesus Christ. And um, this is this is why, you know, society as a whole, uh, it, it, it's it's not one one aspect of society that literally defines a society. Every thing it's it's a, it's a part of the systems theory. That's what I want to say. You know, we're all a little part of the entire system. So, uh, you know, yeah, there's there's. Um, what kind, what kind of family system did you come from? Were you severely abused? Did you not feel like you had a family? And then did you go to church and, and you had this church that wasn't teaching you about demons, wasn't teaching you about this spiritual warfare that you needed to know about? I was like an ignorant, ignorant, ignorant person. I can't believe how ignorant I was that when I, when I came back to Christianity and started reading the Bible again, it really slapped me across the face how little I knew about my own religion. It really slapped me across the face. This is why I'm pushing it now because that was my biggest downfall that I never read the Bible. But from a child, I never had the support to read the Bible. I even went to Catholic school. It was never enforced to read the Bible. Even going to church, it was never enforced to read the Bible. There was even a priest that said, don't worry about what's in the Bible. You only need to listen to what we tell you. So this is the stuff, the garbage that's going on out there in society. So it doesn't help to, to, to say anything that, that how people got in this place that, that they're making excuses or um, to, to look at them and say, well, you knew Jesus. How did this happen to you? You have to understand. This is why I said uh, last week or the week before, the, the day I made that Todd White video, there are people suffering out here that we just have no clue about it. We just have no clue about it. You see, my, my thing out here now is since I have experienced this and I am now interacting with the spirit world that people need to understand that this is real and uh, understand that this whole time that I've been on this path, I have been getting messages from the spirit world that have been healing me and propelling me forward out of the sleep. So I know exactly who is giving me my messages and it has always led me in a positive way. After I, after I turned away from that, uh, that Hindu guru, I did nothing but wake up. I did nothing but wake up. So that's all. That's what I want to tell you. Um, I, I no longer live in fantasy world, so I don't make up stories that oh, angels came to visit me. No, there there is um, a, a a brain state that you get into, that you're in uh, full consciousness, and this is where the messages come from, and it usually happens right when you're coming out of deep sleep and just before you're waking up, before you come into the awakened state. It's right in that spot where everything is still. That's where I, oh, I've always gotten my messages. Now, whether that's listed in the Bible that we get our messages that way, I don't know. I haven't come across it. Not everything that has ever happened is listed in the Bible. I will say that. But 
this is in fact what has happened to me. And the only gauge that I have is that it has propelled me forward in a positive way that I have woken up. I am out of the sleep and I still have a further learning to do on I don't go chasing these spirits. I never have. I never have. And um, I stopped I stopped uh, doing anything with these powers at least four or five years ago. So uh, the only thing that I could say is I have been clear sentient, meaning I have sensed the presence of energy around me. It, it, it didn't matter if it was human. If, if, if a person was standing next to me and... They were in a bad mood or they could have had a demon associated with them. Um, I would feel their negative energy. This has been happening to me since I was a child. So way, way. And I, I, like I said, I went to Catholic school at that point. But I have been infested with demons since I, I'm imagining since I was in the womb. So uh, I don't know what this is. But the only thing that I can say when it has a positive effect on my life, I credit God with that. I credit God with that. So when I had that outburst last night, I automatically credit that as a manifestation of a demon. But this is what you all need to be very aware of. Um, and this is why I don't pull any punches and I'm not going to pull any punches because I'm not out here to build up my page. I'm not out here for anybody to call me a pastor or call me anything else. And, and that is the truth. That is the truth. I'm only out here to do what I have been instructed to do, and that is to make sure that you all know the truth about what's happening in the occult and witchcraft and divination, that you all know what's happening out here. As a matter of fact, a few months ago, I put, uh, I put some videos on my page by uh, another guy, another YouTuber on here, and he, he videoed what happened to him after he played with the Ouija board, uh, he was uh, seriously attacked by a demon that he had to have a priest come in and um, he sprayed holy water in his house. But um, I may post those videos again for you so you can actually see it. Divination um, is very real. And it, it's it. I want you really to fully understand me, no matter what that tarot demon says. This is not to attack the tarot demon. I'm getting very pointed here because of the fact that she does not care that she's hurting you and that she's putting demons in you she doesn't care it's all about her it's all about her it has nothing to do with you because if she cared about you she would tell you the truth and she would stop this this is where i'm coming from and this is what i want you to know so i'm not out here to win any miss congeniality awards i'm not out here looking to be a, any pastor or evangelist or anything of the sort. I'm sharing with you as always, as I always have, what I'm learning to help you free yourself. And that's it. That is it. So um, I am very direct and I will tell you like it is. And for me, I have never been more passionate about anything before than this. Because having these demons here, um, it has been torture for me. It has been torture. And I don't want to see you go through this. And that's really all I care about. I'll leave the pastoring to the pastors. Um, if you want the truth and uh, w without any sugar coating on it, then this is the place to be. But um, I'll leave the pastoring to the pastors. For right now, I will leave the demon slaying to the demon slayers. I am preparing to sign up for Bob Larson's um, exorcism school. I am most definitely signing up for that. And uh, this is my life now. I want people to be free of these demons. That's all I care about. That is all I care about. And I will scream it from the rooftop. And I don't care how many of these fake gurus don't like it. They didn't care about how they destroyed our lives out here, did they? You guys have a blessed day.